Welcome to Covent Garden, and we're here for something slightly different. We're here for the Tusk Gorilla Trail, which has been going from the middle of July and does until the middle of October. So if you get a chance to get down here, come and have a look at these greatly painted gorillas. Some of them done by famous people. Yes, Ronnie Wood. He of the Rolling Stones, and we got one done by his wife a little bit later as well. So we're going to bring you all 15 in this video and all of the different decorations. Now this one is bang centre in the centre Ive Avenue of Covent Garden. So the designs are all different, but then it tells you right in the middle of there, like this is Sun Wukong, and it tells you it's known as the Monkey King, and it tells you a bit about why they've designed it in the way that they have. But then when you look at the same monkey, just look up close, it's like pages of the Financial Times, it's the stock prices that it's been absolutely covered in. So with some of these, it's worth not just looking at the front, but also going by the back of the gorillas as well for some of the art form. So our next one, this bright pink one, is done by Sally Wood, Ronnie Wood's wife. Now this is a great example where you need to not just look around the front, but also go round the back as well. And um, Precious probably gives you a hint to what might be round the back of the gorilla. Yep, it's almost a two-tone decoration. So there you go, that's Gorilla number three. Now, the Tusk Rhino Trail happened back in 2018, and then they had the Lion Trail in 2021. So this time they've gone for the 15 Gorilla Sculptures. Now this one probably is my favorite because just look at the detail. This is Peter Pan over the streets of London. Look at the decoration on this. And you'll never guess who it's been done by. John Cleese and his wife. Yes, he of Monty Python, and of course, Basil Forty fame. But this one, you really do have to look around because there are all the children flying across the night sky behind Peter Pan. The concepts are fantastic. Just look at the detail of Big Ben there overlooking the London night sky. So this one's in the corner of the piazza over at Covent Garden, right in front of the Royal Opera House. But then there's a little something hidden. Now his wife is known as Fish, as you'll see very much written here. But then what this gorilla has is a little something extra, but you've got to look closely. And I noticed it, thank goodness, I filmed it and bought it to you because the gorilla's foot is painted gold and there is a little white fish. Yeah, I wonder if there's any connection to a fish called Wanda. Anyway, we'll move on. Now, if you fancy coming up here and doing the trail, as I said, there's still over a month where you can do it, but you can also go to their website and it will allow you to download a map so you can find all 15 gorillas around the Covent Garden area. So it's not just in central Covent Garden, but it's all scattered around as well. And this is right near Floral Court, which we featured in previous videos here on this channel. And that's the lovely thing about it. You'll recognize some of the places where these gorillas are. Now, when you get to these gorillas, you can see this QR codes there, and that's to encourage people to scan their phones and donate at least 10 pounds to the charity that this is all related to. But have a look at this one with all of the different tools on it. Now, this one was probably one of the more difficult ones because it was hidden down an alleyway. So thank goodness I found him. Now, if you're watching this video on one device and have another device spare, what you might want to do is just Google Gorilla Trail Covent Garden, and it will bring you up with all of the information about the gorillas. So not just the stuff that's printed on the base here as well that we're showing you, but some more details from the artists about their designs. I think it's been fantastic this year because not only you've got the Gorilla Trail here at Covent Garden, which is a small space, you also have the Art Trail, which is over in the city of London and still going as well. We've done a video on that, but we also had the Morph Trail. So there's been some great things to go and do trails around London to get people out and about walking around London, discover London, and also just see different bits of it whilst trying to track down the different statues from the different trails. Brilliant. Right, how about this one? Now this has been done by an artist we featured before when she did all of the neon outside of the British Tate Museum, uh, which is on the Millbank, which was crikey, that was nearly two years ago. 
But funnily enough, that tiger on the shoulder of the gorilla reminds me of one of the statues that she did all in neon, which was of a tiger, which was really, really impressive. Anyway, very eclectic. So also, as you can see, not only are you encouraged to scan and then donate some money, but also after the whole trail is finished, they're gonna be selling the different gorillas off to different buyers. And you can imagine some are gonna go for more than others, especially where famous people have designed them. This is St. Martin's Courtyard, which is just tucked away behind Common Garden and Seven Dials, between the two, uh, very near Seven Dials, in fact. And hidden in here is another one of the gorillas, which is a co-painting between Gemma Powell and Jack Savaretti, who is a singer. But it's also another one of those gorillas where you've got paintings and sort of forests and jungles on one side, and then you look at the back and you've got a whole nighttime city scape. Really hope you're enjoying the video. And if you are, you know what you need to do? Give us a thumbs up, will you? That'll help get this video spread across YouTube. That really helps support small channels like us to get the videos seen. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, do so and hit the notification bell so we can tell you when we upload new videos, which are always three times a week. So if you're doing gorilla count, this is gorilla number nine. And be kind if I've got it wrong, please. Uh, you know where the comments are. Anyway, this is leading up to seven dials. Um, and it's a very, very simple one with a very simple message. So just to tell you a bit about the Tusk Charity, which has for more than 30 years worked to accelerate the impact of African driven conservation. And since its formation, it has boasted an impressive range of successful conservation projects across more than 20 different countries. Now, one of my favorite parts of Covent Garden, it's just down the road, is this place. It's seven dials, it's fantastic. Um, just ignore the scaffolding, all right? There's always scaffolding or something going on down here while they're redoing it. But anyway, here comes the next gorilla. This one has been designed by Pure Evil, who is a street and graffiti artist. And before anyone asks in the comments down below, no, I don't know whether they moved the statue too quickly and it made the paint drip, or whether it's designed to be that way. I'd probably go for the latter, to be quite honest. Yeah, to tell you more about the charity, they've actually given vital protection for more than 40 different threatened species, and also contributed to poverty reduction through sustainable development in various rural community areas. So with a view down to Covent Garden, we're right near the top of St. James's Street, and we're right opposite the station, as you can see reflected in the windows, and also me there as well. Oh, you can't help yourself, can you? Right, this one was a difficult one to find. Why? Because it's inside a gallery window. And there was a reason for that one, because look at the beautiful flowers on this gorilla, but it's been designed and done by a gentleman named Rankin, who is a famous British photographer, as it says there, who has photographed so many different famous people. Whilst it doesn't feel as close as the other ones where you can really get up close and personal to them, um, the actual location of where it is is pretty spectacular, right opposite Covent Garden Tube Station. So you can't really miss it if you know where you're looking. Although I spent ages just walking around the street and there it is in the window. Now I make this our 12th gorilla, um, and actually I must also tell you that actually if you're doing the trail, they are all so close together, you could probably do the whole trail in about 30 minutes. It really is that easy to see all 50. So if you've got young children with you or in a push chair or something else like that, it's really easy. And also if accessibility is something that you're concerned about, there are no steps anywhere. Everything is on the flat, so it's really good. And when it's not on the flat, there are ramps to go up as well, especially in the middle of Covent Garden. And I love this one with the theme of VHS. Yeah, if you don't know what VHS is, go Google it. And if you do know what VHS is, you're welcome to this channel. Yep, we're all of a similar. <laughs> If you're coming to the Covent Garden area and you're gonna put your gorillas in key places, then you're probably gonna put it in one of the most famous places around. Yes, it's the extremely colorful but tucked away Neil's Yard. And they've got one here right in the middle of the area and it looks fantastic. So here we go, gorilla number 13. And as you can see, why not pose for your photo in front of it? Yeah, your hair's okay, don't worry, stop fiddling. There you go, they got a nice photo, they're happy. And the gorilla's very happy too. 
I must admit, when I first saw it, I thought the gorilla and the colours were competing for all of the colours on the buildings that are around it, and someone just put hand splodges all over the gorilla. But it's not. It's actually painted flowers, or sort of that's the flower effect it's meant to have, which is the design which you're going to read about right now. And then of course we couldn't film here without the classic view with the gorilla behind the fantastic coloured buildings. Right, this one's out on his own, but it's a punk gorilla. He's our penultimate one, but he's sitting here, almost right at the end of Shaftesbury Avenue. And if you know this area quite well, you've got the Forbidden Planet right over the road, and it's at the end of Neil Street, and also Monmouth Street as well. And if you recognise Monmouth Street, that's because we've done a few videos down there, especially of a wonderful coffee shop that they've got down there. So from gorilla number 14 to gorilla number 15, our final one, it's here. And this is down Neil Street. And this one is also quite tucked away. So you can go and have a good look around for him. And this one uses the power of tattoos, which I think is absolutely fantastic and certainly gets you thinking, especially that going, going, gone, and some of the other bits and pieces which you'll see around the back in a second. Very well done. But what you'll also notice when you do these trails that so many other people are doing them as well, and everyone's getting their photos in front of them. So I just want to say a well done to Tusk and also for the Covent Garden Association for putting all this together. Because whilst it's got a serious message, which certainly certainly comes through during the art trail, it's also a great way to walk around and see them as well and see some of the bits of London. So you've seen all the gorillas. What did you think? Let us know in the comments down below. And more importantly, tell us which one did you like the best out of the 15 gorillas that we showed you all on the Covent Garden Art Trail. Be really interesting to see. Now, there's another art trail that's on until 2024, which is another close by walk around the city of London. And I'll put a link to that video up in the top right hand corner. So if you click on that, I'll see you in there.